for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you complete isolated footing design for the hospital structure by using stat pro v8i software okay so firstly i will show you the model which i was already done uh, by using stat pro v8i software so click on the stat pro software here so this is my model which is consisting of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 number of the floors okay so the ground structure will be consisting of the plinth level this is the uh, ground floor this is the first second third fourth fifth okay so click on the general option so for this structure i was taking the uh, column size which is consisting of approximately 0.46 cross 0.23 and beam size is 0.35 cross 0.23 again in the same process i was taking the slab thickness which is comes under 150 mm okay so again in the same process i was define the loads which is comes under the uh, seismic loading condition system as well as the wind loading condition system and i was define the load combinations and load cases according to the is 456 2000 codal provision standard system okay the seismic loading considerations will be taken on according to is 1893 2016 codal provision standard system again i was taken the wind loading as per is 875 code okay so click on the loads and factors option So for this building in the dead loading condition system, I was taking the loads which is comes under the sulfate condition, wall load condition, and as well as the floor load condition. In the lie loading condition, I was taking the floor load. So after uh, applying the other load cases, we need to design the structure. So I was taking the concrete frame design for the designing of the particular structure according to IS 456 2000 codal provision. So initially I will show you the reinforcement value for the different types of the beams. Click double click on any one of the beam. So click on the uh, concrete design so now we can see for this respected beam it is required approximately 7 bars of 10 mm diameter at the top reinforcement section again in the same process it is required approximately 2 bars of 12 mm diameter at the bottom reinforcement section for this particular member again in the same process i am selecting this member it is not showing the uh, any kind of the designing results because the presence of the higher amount of the loading distribution condition in the same process you can select any one of the column so that it will show you the complete reinforcement design results which is comes under the column so after designing process completed according to is 456 2000 we need to design the foundation so for that initially we need to click on the foundation design option so we need to select the both gravity loading condition as well as the lateral loading condition for the building structure so click on include all option so so that it will add the all the uh, load cases but here in this case we need only the loads which is con considered according to uh, definition part we doesn't need any kind of the combinations so that's why just i'm uh, excluding all just i'm selecting this particular loads 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 option click on include option click on the run start foundation option so that the fixed supports whatever the fixed supports is exist for this particular structure will be directly imported to start foundation software in start foundation software we can able to design the isolated footing as per is 456 2000 so before designing the foundation design we need to check whether the foundation or numbers are correct or not now we can see these are the foundation numbers according to considerations of the model okay so now initially we need to generate the load combination so for that select the loads and factors option click on the generate load combinations option okay so initially we need to select the load combination according to indian standard codal provision standard so click on the generate load combination for the service load combination initially so after that we have to uh, generate the ultimate load combination also click on the generate load combination so that it will generate the load combination according to is 456 2000 codal provision standard system uh, by using the service load combination system so click on okay So after generating the load combination, we need to define the job setup according to IS 456 2000 codal provision. So for that, select the job setup here. Click on the create new job. So initially, we need to enter the job information on the right hand side section. This time, taking the job information is isolated footing ISO. Select the job type will be of isolated. It will be consisting of the different types of the foundation like uh, pile cap, mat, combin combined. Okay. So here in this case, we need to select the isolated. Design code will be comes under the Indian standard system only. So it will be consisting of U.S., British, Indian, Australian, Canadian, and Chinese. So here I am selecting Indian standard system. I am select the unit type will be in SI system and uh, select the assignment of the support condition to the all the supports. Okay. So we need to include the load combination. So here in this case we are included the define the load combination which is comes under the service load combination as well as the 
अल्टीमेट लोड कॉम्बिनेशन सिस्टम सो हिर आई एम सेलेक्टिंग दट पर्टिकुलर लोड केसेस वन नाट वन वन नाट टू टू नाट वन टू नाट टू टू नाट थ्री टू नाट फोर क्लिक आन द इंक्लूड ऑप्शन सो दट इट विल एड द लोड कॉम्बिनेशन डायरेक्टली क्लिक आन द क्रिएट जॉब ऑप्शन सो दट इट विल स्टार्ट आइसोलेटेड फुटिंग डिजाइन रिजल्ट ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सेक्शन ना वी कैन सी द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सेक्शन विल बी कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ आइसोलेटेड फुटिंग जॉब इन्फॉर्मेशन सो यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द आइसोलेटेड फुटिंग जॉब क्लिक ऑन द डिजाइन पैरामीटर्स सो फर्स्टली आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द पैरामीटर्स विच इज इंक्लूडेड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कवर एंड रिबार so just i'm selecting the concrete and rebar so you can enter the unit weight of the concrete if you are uh, familiar with the values so minimum bar spacing and maximum bar spacing just i'm selecting the minimum bar spacing is 120 here and maximum will be of approximately 450 just i'm selecting and strength of the concrete just i'm assuming here as m30 grade concrete provision and the yield strength of the steel is 500 approximately just i'm taking and select the minimum bar size will be consisting of uh, 10 mm by bar size and maximum will be 32 just i am including in this cover and soil type it will be consisting of the parameters like uh, bottom clear cover unit weight of the soil and bearing capacity of the soil depth of soil above the foundation okay so here i am entering the clear cover at the bottom section which is consisting of approximately uh, 30 mm cover just i needed and unit weight of the soil just i am entering here as 23 uh, again i am selecting the bearing capacity as per my consideration just i am selecting 180 kN per meter square So again, we have to select the footing geometry option. You can select the footing geometry according to your consideration, minimum length and maximum length. So you can click on the sliding and overturning. Uh, these factors are constant for this respected isolated footing. So you can directly click on the design option and click on S option, so that the isolated footing design results will be started according to IS 456-2000 codal provision. Now we can see it is showing the isolated footing design results according to IS 456-2000. So you can click on any one of the foundation according to your consideration. Just simply, I am selecting design of isolated footing 113 section. So it will be consisting of complete calculation part, which is comes under the isolated footing, which is consisting of the uh, input values and of uh, footing geometry, column dimensions, pedestrian dimensions, again soil properties, sliding and overturning factors, and load combinations and service stress levels and load combinations, apply loads and design calculation for the isolated footing according to IS 456. so you can click on this particular options so that it will show you the complete reinforcement design results which is comes under the isolated footing you can click on the details and drawing so it will be consisting of complete reinforcement design results here like this which is consisting of 8 mm diameter bar which is placed at 135 cm to cm distance this is the gi drawing for the particular structure of hospital structure and this is the calculation sheet okay so this is the complete process of analysis and designing of Uh, hospital structure according to isolated footing design by using start pro v8a software if you have any queries about this respected video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you